protection. Now looking to reopen border shelters closed under President Trump, with those facilities expected to house the growing influx of now unaccompanied minors. It feels like we're going backwards here. But that, but doesn't that sound a lot like what sparked the kids in cages controversy years ago? Here's Mark Morgan, former acting commissioner of U.S. Customs and Border Protection on it. Now, these are HHS facilities for unaccompanied minors. Once CBP has, has apprehended them trying to illegally enter, then we give them to the HHS. But look, those same 10 cities, they're already starting to be constructed for CBP because we're anticipating because of the increase in numbers, they're going to be needed. William Lajeunesse is live for us in L.A. William. Well, Harris, agents told me yesterday they are seeing two new things, more children, larger groups. Last week, Eagle, Texas, Border Patrol caught 115 migrants during the midnight shift, some minors without parents. And just to clarify, an unaccompanied child is not some orphan traveling alone. They often are accompanied by parents, relatives, and a guide who will leave them on the north side of the Rio Grande, knowing agents will see and take them to a shelter. Parents cross a few days later to reunite in some city. And by crossing separately, the parents exploit a loophole and avoid being deported together. As drone video here illustrates, the Border Patrol right now apprehends some 3,500 migrants per day entering the U.S. The largest increase, unaccompanied children, up 98% in Big Bend, Texas, Del Rio, 75 El Paso, 55% in Rio Grande Valley, which apprehended some 7,000 children in just the last four months prompting the need for more shelter beds in Donna and Carrizo Springs. And this is what that shelter looked like three years ago. Fear is, it's happening again. As migrants believe the Biden administration will provide asylum, and as promised, no deportation. And the president articulated yet again the urgency and the priority of this mission. The cruelty of the prior administration has come to an end, and now we will demonstrate to the world what we as Americans are. Now, the Trump administration did separate parents and children as a deterrent, assuming parents would choose deportation over separation. They didn't. While the policy ended, the migrant parents are still abandoning their children at the border, and agents tell me it is heartbreaking to pick up a four, six, or eight-year-old who doesn't understand, Harris, what's happening to them or why their parents left them. Back to you. Well, and nobody understands why, you know, the Biden administration comes in and then ticks the clock backwards that there's not another way to deal with this. Uh, William Lajeunesse, thank you very much. Calls are growing for Biden's White House.